beautiful people. Welcome. This is Breathe and Budget. If you are new, thank you so much for being here. If you are returning, that just means so much to me. I really appreciate it. My name is Taryn, and my husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free. We want to create generational wealth. We want to have a beautiful savings. We want to invest. We just have so many financial goals, and this is our journey. And if you are interested in any of that, go ahead and subscribe. Join our community. Join our tribe. Ask questions. And I guess let's get into today's video. All right, so today we are going to cash stuff $745. Today that I'm filming this and the goal is to post it same day is Saturday the 29th. So these pouches, different colors, I'll show you. Um, and my cash teller slip will be launching tomorrow. So I like, I'm still going to use the post-it ones from the Budget Mom until that pack is gone because I don't want to be wasteful. But this week I'm only cash stuffing our wallet, like our binder, our weekly envelopes. I'm not cashing any of our sinking funds. So I only needed one, so I decided to try out the ones I created. Um, and they were a hit, they liked them. Um, I think they're pretty sturdy. So anything that I do, I like to try out first before I introduce it to you guys um, to make sure that it's functional, works well, um, and of good quality. I think that's important. I think my daughter might be sending me a text. And I do need to read that. Be right back. Okay. She was sending me a link to something to watch. And that, that can wait. Um, but we have our hair appointment this morning. You will see me pull the money for that. Uh, so I thought maybe it was related to that. She's at a friend's house. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side. I'm going to move that here. Um, I want to remember that I'm going to show you the different colors. And I don't have a lot of this particular one. I will be ordering more. My quantities are all over the place. It was just based on what was available. All right, so I have 100, 200, and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. Gosh, I hope that was right. I took those 10. I think I was right. So 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 700 and 10. Yep, 30, 40. No, wait, 30, 45. All right, 745. You guys, I literally just rolled out of bed like maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, so bear with me. It's just our appointment's pretty early, so I wanted to film this before I left. Let me take a sip of my coffee. All right, that's better. All right, I'm going to take a deep breath because I feel, I don't know, a little overwhelmed. So not with this, but just sometimes life. So if you want to take a deep breath with me, you can. I'm going to just do... Just some big belly breathing, you know, not costal breathing with just your lungs. I'm going to fill my belly. All right, here we go. All right, so much better. Breathing is so helpful. Um, and as you guys know, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I tend to hold my breath or I don't breathe um, the way that I should, like calmly or big deep breaths. 
um, I'm always like on the go. My brain doesn't stop. It's hard to sleep too because of that, but I just forget, you know, to just take a moment, be quiet and just breathe. So, all right. Awesome. So I have my teller sheet off to the side, like the one that's available in my shop. I don't want to move it. I have shown it in a previous video, but I have it propped up. I actually have my glasses on this time. I don't want to move it because it's perfect where it's at and I don't want to mess up. So first, because I want to get this binder out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and pull out what I need um, for our hair today. Um, this is more than enough for mine. I just do my roots for the very few gray that I have coming in. Um, I get a trim and, and a blowout. So I have 120, 140, 160, 170, 180. Um, this is not enough to cover what my daughter's having done, but since, and if anyone knows about this and you want to comment, um, any suggestions or tips, I do have a meeting set with an accountant, but my daughter, she helps me with, you know, the envelope process, uh, my Etsy shop. So I pay her. So we're going to use some of that money for her to get her hair done today. Um, I don't know. Right now I have it going from, you know, my business account to her checking account so that there's a record, but I just don't know what to do with it, like how to report that or what, you know? So if anyone does know, um, go ahead and put it in the comments because you know, maybe I, have, I haven't thought of something that I should, um, and, or maybe a question I need to ask, you know, the accountant when I draft the email of questions. I told him, I'm just going to compile some questions, send them your way. Please let me know when you have time to discuss, because uh, I am in the market for a CPA. I've always done my own taxes. I've always used TurboTax. I am a huge fan of TurboTax. But now that I have the Etsy shop and it has taken off, I'm not comfortable doing that the first year. I'm just, I don't know, I'm a little intimidated. All right, so we have our weekly binder. But I also have my wallet. Let me see if it's going to be in frame. Because some of it is going to go in my wallet. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so I'll take some with me on my person. And then the rest stays in our binder that stays at home. So my husband and I both have access to it. All right, so we're each going to start off with 120. Yes, 120. So that would be two for leaving me with 100. Yes, so 120. So what I did is a 50 three twenties and a 10. So 50, 60, 70, 90, 110, 120. So I always put like the bigger bill in there because if I wind up not spending it, that's why I pick a bigger bill for this, like, cause I don't like breaking them. So I figured I won't spend it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put the 70 in my wallet. Okay, I do recommend folding your bills the way that you just saw me fold it for the A7. You know, they are smaller. I, when I say I run these through the laminator five, six times, I'm not joking. I run them through the laminator that many times to make sure, you know, that they're sturdy. And they are, I just feel like you should still like, you know, take care of them. And I don't know if you can fold the money this way, it doesn't put so much pressure onto the envelope. Okay. So before I continue, cause I don't have my husband's envelopes in my wallet, so that'll remain on beauty for a second. I'm going to do the same thing for my husband, the 120. Oh my God. I just realized, wait, only the five should be there. Uh, how many of you were yelling at me or how many of you were like me and didn't even know I did that? Didn't even realize. Okay. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. Okay. And then his bad habit is getting a hundred. 
and I believe I did. So five, six. So I did two tens for sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So my husband is a smoker. And we talked about, well, he talked about, expressed that he wanted to have a separate for like envelope for that. Um, so that's kind of like a touchy situation for me because I wish that he would quit because his health is important to me. Um, but if I had to find, like especially this month, and I'll play it by ear, we already had rollover money for our date night. So I didn't fund that for August because we already have like a hundred and something. So the hundred I would have normally put towards date night, I just threw into this envelope for him. And we'll see how it goes. This one, I'm really just playing by ear. Um, but when you are doing finances for couples like we are, um, those things happen. You know, one feels that maybe they need a particular envelope category for themselves. Um, I think it's just hard for me just because I don't agree and I don't want him to be a smoker anymore. I want him to quit. So that could be like if he said I want to save to go fishing, I would have been like, all right, let's make this envelope. No problem. But I hesitated. But I realized either way he's going to spend the money. At least it's coming from the cash and him not pulling out the debit card, using our cushion or pulling out the credit card. So there's a trade off, right? Like I know that this is allotted for it. All right. So enough about that. You probably don't want to hear about that. Or maybe you can relate. I don't know. All right. Beauty's going to get 40. So I'm going to do a 20 and then two tens. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put the two tens in my wallet because um, that should be enough. I need more deodorant for myself. I use Lumi. I don't know if any of you have ever tried Lumi, but uh, I do like it. I've been using it for a few years now. All right. That's beauty. Dining out. It's getting a hundred. So I did three twenties and four tens. So I'm going to pull. Hmm. Hidden River might be with us today. I don't know. I'll just put 50 in my wallet and the rest in this envelope. This will eventually get 250, but I, I don't fund it all within just one check. Um, more, like more will come to it on the 15th. This will be just for now. Okay, so it's done out. Pets are gonna get 50. So I did 20 and I did three tens. Hmm. I'm just going to put 20 in my wallet in case we want to get some crickets. Pets are a touchy subject for me. Um, my dogs are doing okay. I mean, I don't know. I think the new diet and the medicine is helping Sophie, but she's still so um, big, like almost like inflated in her belly. I don't know. And, you know, I feel so bad for Belle and her eye. They had to remove a tumor on her eyelid and, you know, there's not much skin there. So her eye's never going to look the same. And it's just all like, like almost draining right now. And she wants to itch it, but we have the cone on. We need at least another week with the cone. It just breaks my heart. They're just getting old, you know. It's hard. Okay, so 20, 30, 40, 50, two kids. Um, put 30 in my wallet. Sorry, I'm a little quiet. I was just starting to think about my 
my dog says I was telling you guys that. All right, so let's go to home. So home is going to get 42. I did a 20 and two 10s. Um, okay, I'll just throw a 10. I don't think I'll need anything. We just got the lemon spray from Trader Joe's. Any other home item is going to be, oh my God, why am I folding this one? Um, is going to be like a more uh, bigger purchase. I don't know if we need toilet paper. I'll order that online from Sam's Club and then just pay the card because we use our Sam's Club credit card. I don't know if I showed it on video like YouTube, but I went into Sam's Club and I cashed out. Um, oh, I don't have anything going else. Um, I cashed out our Sam's Club cash, Sam's Cash, um, put 120 in a high yield savings account for when our next year of membership is due, which will be May of next year. And then I'm using the rest. Um, so this is I'm using the rest to like put towards groceries so if you are watching if you've watched like my Instagram stories you'll see like my little grocery hauls and my process I share it over there um, I haven't thought about sharing it like in a YouTube video but um, if you're interested head over to my Instagram what I'll do is save some of those stories to a, uh, a like a highlight bubble um, maybe I'll label it like groceries or something or food I don't know but you'll, you'll see it. All right, so Nails is getting the, la the last of it, 125. Um, normally I don't put this much from just one check, but I literally only have this check and then the one on the sixth to fully fund the 250 before our nail appointment. So, you know, that's just what it's gotta be. Okay, so that's it. That's all we're stuffing right now. That just gets our weekly binder and my envelope started and ready to go for this next budget period, this next month. Um, let me show you guys the... I actually have that color. Oh, sorry. All right. So these are the different colors. Okay, so we have a regular clear. We do have like that holographic. I'm hoping you guys will move it around different areas, but can see that. We have a pink glitter. This is very limited. I think I only have two or three of this one. Um, we have the black glitter. And then the one you see me using, which is it's a clear glitter with the pink snap closures. Again, limited on that one too, but I will be ordering more. Aren't they all so pretty? Look at they all shine. So you would get the pouch. <clears throat> Forgive me. That might have been very loud on camera. I'm so sorry. Uh, the pouch plus the breakdown. The cash breakdown teller slip, which you just use, like, I'll show you what I use. I just used my fine tip Sharpie to write on it. And uh, then I'll just use my alcohol swab. Let me grab one. Might as well do it with you guys on camera. You don't have to use like the individual. I just had these in like our medical um, kit little spot on the desk and um but you can fill up one of those pumps let me show you I have like two I also have this but you can just like use a little rag um pump the alcohol and wipe it down but for right now If you just do this, see, it comes off really easy. I like to use one side and then I like, I like to flip it over and just get any residual off. Okay. And it's good as new. And I don't have anything on my fingers like last time. All right, so um, 
these will be available starting tomorrow. Um, what's also going to be available, I figured I would show it here, is a new savings challenge I created in honor of a friend of mine who passed away. We were 16. She was 16. She passed away tomorrow, July 30th. She would have been 40. Like we are totally turning 40 this year and it just shocks me. Uh, she passed 23 years ago. The time, the way time works is very interesting. And diamonds have always been something so important to me. Um, let me keep this on my desk. She, she basically wanted me to know that I was a diamond and that I had worth and that I should value myself because I was in a pretty bad situation at that time. And um, so I made this savings challenge. It will come in this pouch. I have not priced it yet because I want it to be something that is affordable, but also I don't want to lose money. I don't care that I'm making a grip of money. That's not my goal. I don't want to lose money, but I just, you know, I want it to be affordable for people. So you will get like your dashboard and there's four sections. You will save a total of $730. Let's see, can you see that? So I chose that amount, you know, for July 30th, 730. So you'll save a total of $730. And there are four sections. The sections are envelopes. Okay. So like section one, $10, 25, 20, 35, 45. Uh, and it has different quotes. You are a diamond. Never forget that. That's how she came across to me. That's like how she said. Um, so then we have section two, section three, section four and this is not something that you need to feel like any pressure about like i know it's so funny because it says pressure makes diamonds but if you can't like it does it's not like a 52 week challenge or anything where you have to do one a week do it as you can you know whenever i don't know like let's say you spend nine dollars and something cents you give them a 20 and they give you a 10 back Throw that 10 to your section one. Just make it work for you, you know? Um, we all have savings goals. Challenges work for some people, sometimes they don't. I know for me that like I had to stop the 52 week one. I just couldn't manage that with the goals that we had already set up in the beginning of the year. Um, so it, it might be something I can incorporate when I make, when I work on 2024, but I just couldn't for 2023. But this is something like, you know, let's say you're trying to save for a pet emergency fund or your home emergency fund, save it this way. Use a challenge, and then when you're done, you put that 730 towards whatever goal you want. So it'll be the whole kit. So you'll get the envelopes, the four envelopes, the dashboard, and the pouch. So that will launch tomorrow as well, in addition to the um, cash teller slip and the pouches. All right, so my videos aren't really to, to promote my Etsy. I do share information people have asked me to, but I don't want to keep going on on that. You want to talk about, you know, the budget, right? Like my different categories and envelopes. So what I'm going to do this weekend, probably later tonight, is I will record a video going over all my binders, my different categories. I will even show you on my tablet how I did the breakdown for like the holidays and the, um, like our earthquake insurance, um, the insurance on the Riker, how I broke it down each month for the year so that you guys understand my process. And if that in any way helps you in your process, clarifies things, motivates you, then a job well done. That's, that's why I did this. I mean, there was two main reasons. One, because if I could shout it from the rooftops, the tallest mountain, that budgeting is for the rich, it is for the poor, it is for everyone. Everyone needs a budget. I would if I could share how important this process, cash envelopes, the zero base budget has been in my life, I would. And if I can impact anyone, you know, that's, um, if I can convince someone that this is what they should do and they do it, I'm so happy about it. And then also because 
you know, holds me accountable. I'll do it. And no matter what, like that, cause I love it. It has worked for our family. We were able to get off, um, paid $20,000 consumer debt in the first 10 months of our journey, which is fabulous. And I know that, but we hustled. Um, I just feel that if I document it, I, I, what I think it is, is too, is I have to have something to stuff. I have to have rollover to put into savings. So it almost convinces and motivates me to not spend so that I have content to film for you guys. That might sound hilarious. That might sound funny, but it's the reality of it and it helps. So if you've ever thought about sharing your journey, whether it's just on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, doesn't matter. You know, I would encourage you to do so. You never know if the way you do things might turn on the light for someone else and make them realize, oh yeah, that's what I should do. So document your journey. It may motivate you in ways that you didn't think it would. It definitely did for me. So, all right, I got to get ready. I got to eat breakfast. My stomach's growling and I got to get to my hair appointment. But in the meantime, keep breathing, deep belly breaths, not this costal breathing from just your lungs. Fill your belly. Slow down a little. Just embrace what you have. Please embrace an abundant mindset. Don't focus on what you don't have. That's a scarcity mindset. You have exactly what you need. That is, that's the truth. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. And that is super important to remember. So take that with you, friends. Until the next time, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.